What I want to try and do is bridge those two worlds, keep, keep one foot uh, uh, firmly planted in the realities and uh, practicalities of creating a more energy efficient, more sustainable IT organization and IT infrastructure, but at the same time uh, think more broadly about IT's role in corporate sustainability. And uh, Jim could not have uh, put a better uh, closing line on his slides uh, for me. Be a leader. Uh, we really see uh, corporate sustainability as a huge opportunity for IT practitioners, for IT leaders, for the ICT industry, very broadly speaking, uh, to be a leader, to be a catalyst, to be an enabler for uh, corporate sustainability initiatives. And, and so that's what I'd like to talk about uh, with you today. And I think one of, the, one of the unique aspects of this event is that it talks about those two things. We're really trying to bridge the world of IT, the world of, of business and economics uh, together at the, at the same event. Uh, and, and, and that makes this event uh, unique in my experience. I do an, uh, an awful lot of uh, speaking, but it, typically it's to one audience or the other. Uh, here, I think we have the seeds of bringing those two audiences, those two sets of uh, disciplines together uh, and to think about these challenges and opportunities uh, uh, with each other and, and simultaneously. So let me look at the, uh, the context. Uh, let, let's back all the way up to the big picture and assert that there's a profound economic change gathering steam across the economy. And I've shown some of the dimensions here where we can look and, and see the world shifting in uh, a more sustainable direction, uh, in a green direction. And from a, a business person's perspective, whether it's the regulatory front, uh, the demand of your customers, the uh, increasing focus that investors are placing on climate risk and, and sustainability uh, policies, by companies, uh, uh, taxes, and the green IT practices themselves. The, the one dimension I haven't listed uh, here is demands from business customers. Uh, we, we talk about consumers here, but even if you're in the B2B part of the world, your customers are now looking at your products and looking at your company through this sustainability lens uh, and starting to put ever tighter criteria on their procurement. Uh, what kind of companies do they want in their supply chain? What kind of products do they want in their data centers and across the rest of their business? And, and I'll show you, uh, I'll share some data uh, with you from our survey work on that score in a couple of minutes. So the, the, the big picture here is uh, a, a world that is changing on a variety of dimensions and I think changing pretty rapidly. When we look at present and future, on the chart, I think we can argue at least some of those dimensions, the future has arrived, uh, and in other of those dimensions, the future is very quickly approaching. And we see companies reacting to that uh, very substantially. Large companies across geographies, across different industries, making commitments right from the top. The, these are the CEOs, the boards of directors of these firms making very public commitments about how they're going to change their business in a more sustainable direction, how they're going to operate their business in a more sustainable way. This isn't just about saving money. It isn't just about uh, doing the right thing. It's about redefining the company uh, from a strategic perspective. It's about redefining the brand of these companies. The brand of these firms means something different when they make these kinds of commitments. They're really trying to improve their, their brand equity. They're trying to increase their appeal to a growing segment of customers, uh, whether consumer or business customers, who care about sustainability issues. So sure, cost savings are, are important here, but they are not uh, the whole story for uh, firms like these that are making these kinds of top-down uh, CEO and board-level commitments. So the, the question um, you could rightly ask at, at that point is, uh, well, what do these corporate initiatives have to do with 
the IT organization and the IT assets. And, and uh, I, I guess not surprisingly, our answer is they have everything to do with IT. Uh, IT is going to be part of the problem, uh, as, as Jim outlined. It's also going to be a huge part of the solution, not only within the IT organization, but across the entire company and, in fact, across the entire economy. So our goal at Forrester is to help IT leaders uh, be successful. And driving sustainability, we believe, is career enhancing for IT professionals. Getting into a leadership role, a role model uh, position, a catalytic and enabling position within their companies helps IT professionals improve their careers and, and, and helps them be successful. I want to talk about how uh, they do that and talk about the uh, three, what we see as the three high-level initiatives that IT organizations and, and IT leaders have to pursue in order to get their green initiatives and their organization aligned, not just with uh, better sustainability results, but with better business results. And, and those two things really do uh, match up and, and, and fit together uh, pretty nicely. So I want to start with uh, uh, sharing uh, some survey data. Uh, Forrester has done surveys of uh, large uh, IT organizations in large companies uh, around the world over the last three and a half years now. So w what I want to share with you uh, and, and making its uh, uh, public uh, debut here at, at this event is uh, a, a few uh, uh, snippets of uh, results from our survey that we just completed literally uh, in, in the last week or so, so the April 2010 version uh, of our survey. And the first data point I want to I share with you is around this notion of IT's role in broader corporate sustainability initiatives. So are IT organizations, do IT practitioners see themselves as stepping up to this role of being a leader, being a catalyst for overall corporate sustainability initiatives. And the, the great news is that, that the answer to that is yes, they do. About four in 10 say that they have a central role in both planning and executing corporate uh, companies' overall sustainability strategies. Almost half of the respondents, we're talking to IT people here, so, so they're sort of self-identifying and saying, yes, I my organization has a central role in planning and executing on the corporate level, uh, corporate sustainability initiatives, not just uh, uh, how do we make the data center more energy efficient. And only about uh, one and a half in 10, 14% uh, say, uh, of the companies that we surveyed said uh, IT has little or no role in uh, corporate sustainability. Okay, so now I want to outline uh, the three imperatives that we think are, are critical for uh, IT uh, professionals, IT organizations to work more closely uh, with their business counterparts, with their overall company's sustainability initiatives. Uh, three ways in which IT can drive the alignment of sustainability results with improved business results. The first one is this notion of aligning eco and, and eco. Uh, that is eco uh, as in ecology with economics. Um, and the, the, the prevailing wisdom still uh, that, that we find among our client organizations is that green is more expensive. Uh, and in, in order to improve the environment, uh, to reduce uh, uh, CO2 emissions or uh, reduce uh, e-waste uh, across the IT organization, you have to spend more money. Uh, you, you have to buy more expensive products. Uh, you have to spend more in order to uh, produce less in terms of uh, environmental impact. We, we think the reality is actually just about the opposite, that, that IT equipment and software that improves efficiency and is more environmentally friendly actually will turn out to have a lower uh, total operating cost. Um, the, the, the challenge here is that 
uh, IT organizations are often asked to spend more on energy efficient equipment, for example. Uh, if you want to buy the, uh, the best power management software, if you want to uh, virtualize and reduce your uh, storage uh, capacity or your computing uh, platforms, if you want to buy more energy efficient servers, yes, you, you probably are going to spend uh, a little bit of a price premium associated uh, with those products. You're going to more than make up for those with energy savings uh, at, over the lifetime, over the three or four or five years that you, that you own those products. The challenge for many large organizations is that those are two different organizations, two different budgets, two different kinds of spending. So IT folks uh, come to me after I, I give talks like this and say, Okay, you're asking me to spend more on energy efficiency to buy power management software or virtualization software. And the benefit goes to my friends in facilities. That's where the electricity bill is owned. That's where it's paid. Uh, they look like heroes. I look like kind of a chump. Uh, uh, so l let me tell you why that's a non-starter in the budget environment, in the organizational environment that I live in. So dealing with that reality, uh, what we found working with clients is that it's the finance organization that often has the key to unlock those silos, to get those organizations working together, to help them share the costs and the rewards of investing in energy efficiency, to help them blend the capital expenditure that's required for more energy efficient gear with the operating expense savings that they can realize over time in their energy bills. So the finance organization is often the key sort of uh, hidden player, the key third player who has to be at the table as green IT imperatives uh, start to get off the ground. One other story I want to I want to tell you about this organizational uh, uh, sort of sort of uh, resolving this organizational disconnect that we see over and over again. I worked with a, a one of the large. Uh, multinational banks uh, a couple of years ago and they did a very interesting and powerful two-step process. First, they took the electricity bill required to run the IT uh, infrastructure onto the IT budget. So they, so they eliminated this notion of, well, it's their budget, it's not our budget. They, they took the, the uh, electricity costs onto their budget. Um, so that made the IT organization very interested uh, in energy efficiency. Then they, then they took another uh, novel and, and, and a little bit radical step. They included those energy costs on the bills that they sent to their internal customers in the bank. So the application owners, the process owners, now saw not just charges for uh, software maintenance, for storage, for uh, compute power, for network ports. They saw charges for electricity. And you can imagine, uh, in some cases, their bills went up by about 50%. And all of a sudden, those application owners became very interested in energy efficiency. They went from being uh, uh, complete uh, Luddites when it came to server virtualization, uh, for example, sharing uh, server resource, to embracing uh, server virtualization as a, a wonderful uh, means of reducing the hardware footprint and therefore the energy expense of their uh, application and, and, and operations. So it's that kind of uh, thinking, business thinking, on the part of IT professionals that can really make a difference, that can really align. In that case, you had facilities, IT, and the, the business process owners all aligned, all looking at the same set of, uh, of energy costs, and all aligned about an incentive to reduce those energy costs. Now, um, let, let me talk a little bit about motivations that we see uh, why are organizations uh, pursuing uh, green initiatives and, and, and in particular green IT uh, initiatives. And, and it really does, uh, at, at, the, at the beginning of the day, uh, come down to cost. Um, so we ask, uh, what are your organization's top three motivations for pursuing uh, greener IT operations? And you see it reducing energy-related expenses uh, uh, high and getting higher. Reducing other IT operating expenses, also uh, in the, the second most frequently cited 
uh, result there. So it's really about uh, cost savings uh, first and, and last. Uh, doing the right thing for the environment is, is in the mix, 